Let's say that you need to know the date, a certain number of months, in the past or in the future, such as for an expiration, maturity, or due date, as I've set up in this example. In column A, we have a date, and in column B, we have a number of months. We want to know what is the date four months from 2 2019 We're going to put the answer in cell C2, so left-click on C2. Next, we type in an equal sign, then we type in the letter E, and a drop-down box will appear. In the box, left double click on E date. From here, we need to enter the start date, so left click on cell A2. And next, type in a comma. Now we need to enter the number of months, so we'll left click on cell B2. Then we're going to type in a close parenthesis to close off the function, and then hit the enter key. As you can see, we get a number, 43638. This is because behind the scenes, Excel calculates dates by numbers. So to change this, we right click on cell C2, then go down and left click on format cells. In the pop-up box, left click on date, and then left click on OK. And now we have the date formatted in the cell. You can highlight and format any future cells as you see them doing on the screen. Now in cell three, I have the formula input but the months is negative four. I'll hit the enter key, and we get 10 2018 which is the exact date four months in the past. And you can also manually input the number of months in the function. As you see here, I'll hit the enter key, and we get our answer. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.